Welcome to Insight into the Lumbrical Muscle and Testing for Tightness. The lumbrical muscle has to move with the flexor digitorum profundus. The origin has to move. Here's the lumbrical tendon and it's impossible to tell when it changes from being a tendon of the lumbrical muscle to becoming the lateral band. Clearly that the interosseous muscles outlined here in blue are significantly greater than the cross-section of the lumbrical muscles outlined in green. In the active hook or active full finger flexion, we can see that the lumbricals are almost identical in their maximum length. This example of this position and this position when these are active positions, we are looking at a contraction of the lumbrical. What has to happen if the lumbrical is going to pull the finger? If she's going to pull on this rope and move the ice cream, somehow this roller board needs to not move. It contributes to the ability to extend the interphalangeal joint by decreasing the flexor resistance. During active finger flexion, the lumbrical muscle is not active, and you may recall we talked about it being elongated in two directions. The lumbrical plus finger is actually a pathological presentation. The tension is not going to be obvious at the PIP joint, but it would be more obvious at the DIP joint. However, must be active because the profundus must take the origin of the lumbrical proximally as part of the maximum elongation.